Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Thursday, July the 25th of 2024. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this blessed energy. Remember, this is for all sun, moon, and rising signs. So if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you. And I have a bonus down below for 20% off for all my VIPs. And you are absolutely very appreciated. So to everyone, I hope you can enjoy this, this savings and I look forward to seeing you after you book your reading. So let's move right on into the relentlessly optimistic, positively positive, beautiful energy as we use the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus with intention to create our best possible lives now. Here we go. Ooh, clarity is a fabulous beginning and the emperor is pulling that energy right on in to something fully formed and mature so that means it can be used right now and the energy of opening up the space cutting through the veil allowing you to see your way forward is a gift from divine it's also the energy of success so valiantly moving forward in the energy of something fully established the Emperor is the Aries Major Arcana, and it stands for the Masculine of the Universe, which is absolutely beautiful. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, Angels, Archangels, Divine, Pure, White Light, Divine Spirit. Oh, timing. Three days, three weeks, three months, third time's the charm. The clarity is really balancing out the energy of being able to move past whatever's holding you in its in the pattern of being in a little bit of a, a waiting period is really what it's about is those three swords come unlocked and release you so that you can move forward with your whole heart. And as that happens, uh, you're you're in the energy of clarity. So you'll know exactly what to do when the timing strikes. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome. And very appreciated. So moving into the energy. We have our three cards out. With Scorpio death card. Clearing and cleansing. Purifying. Releasing all that no longer serves you. So that we can begin with a fresh clean slate. I call this the cosmic garbage man. Taking out all of the debris. And sowing the seeds for new beginnings. So absolutely Clearing and purging all that no longer serves you so you can move forward without all of that holding you back. And we have communication. This is a really important thing to remember. The, the energy that we send out through our thoughts and our feelings and our spoken words are what's the universe is. That's the only way it has to be able to establish the vibration of what you're trying to receive. So be careful, focus your energy and make sure you're speaking what you truly want to receive and um, letting go of those places of fear within you that are blocking it. I effectively communicate and clarify my needs in order to achieve my goals. Really important is what is that what you're saying has to match what you're trying to attract or you're literally crossing yourself out. So make sure that you've reworded. If you catch yourself speaking off, you can stop. Because there's a little lag and a delay in the in the creation part. So you can cancel out something that if you've misspoken out of anger or just out of frustration, you can go, oh, scratch that. Let's do this. And you give a new way of speaking it. And speak that multiple times after you've cleared the energy so that you can reestablish a different frequency. Intuition is always important. And we, we know it's there. We know it can be used and we forget about it. And and then when it tries to, you know, kind of nudge us a little, we also go, oh, well, I don't want to think then that way because I, it's not really in line with what I pay attention to what, what you're being nudged with. 
and and let the universe know that you are listening on or paying attention when it shows you things uh, be open sometimes we just have to not jump to a conclusion just go oh what am i supposed to pay attention to in this moment because i just got the the realization i'm supposed to be looking at something because i had a sign or a feeling right allow yourself just be observant my intuition guides me to people places and jobs that i enjoy this is when you know when you're in a in a meeting with someone or you are introduced to someone or even run into someone out just out in the world you'll know immediately a gut feeling how you feel about them whether it's a good or positive energy and or whether it's something that makes you have a little caution don't ignore that <laughs> it's important okay so i feel like that's the card i'm going to take but i'm going to shuffle anyway because that one was trying to fall out oh and she has a little dot on her chin huh okay well i'll deal with that later oh <laughs> yeah it's like the guides know listen to your intuition <laughs> Okay, that was spot on. Thank you, cards. My cards know they, they they these all have been read so many times together. They are very acquainted. So thank you, angels, for the confirmation of that. Listen to your intuition, y'all. And root chakra. This is where we find our stability and feeling that we are on track and feel grounded. The frequency of the root chakra, the red flower of life, stimulates passion and supports our sense of security in this physical plane, both in our bodies as well as in the physical world. The root chakra is that connection to the physical plane. And that's where we ground ourselves and allow ourselves to become stabilized in the energies that are moving around us. It's important to be grounded because if not, you're feeling like you're just loose. And we have forgiveness. Holding on to a past hurt is preventing you from moving forward and achieving your heart's desires. Let it go! Exclamation point. Forgiveness does not mean that you condone another's actions. It simply means that you are no longer willing to be a perpetual victim to a particular person or event. Blame is a waste of your precious energy. Bless and surrender the past, for in doing so, you will reclaim the joy of life. Remember, forgiveness is what you expect from someone else when you make a misstep. You must be able to return that to anything that's involving anything you feel is perceived as something not quite aligned, right? So, Forgive, forgive the other person and forgive yourself because we are our, our worst critics and we will allow ourselves to really feel the weight of it forever if we don't stop ourselves from doing that. Breakthrough. How many beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear? How many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams? It's time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dreams. Allow your heart to guide you. Trust your inner guidance. The time is right! Exclamation point. So we'll take a breakthrough energy. Forgiveness allows the doors to, to open for breakthroughs. For if, if you hold something in a, in a grudge, you're literally blocking yourself. That's like a big cement block right in your, in your path. So we have the Eight of Wands, which is lots of new energy raining down, very fast moving opportunities, negotiations, communication, and for some people, air travel. So there's the Eight of Rods. It's a very positive energy of new vitality. There's the Ace of Swords again. So the clarity is still there as you move forward after clearing the path. You now have a complete vision for what you're going forward in. And this is the gift from divine. It is victory. It is success. It is absolutely being able to execute the plan. Hello. And the sun card bringing up the rear. We love the sun card. This is the energy of everything is in the exact right place. This is divine alignment and opportunities of a lifetime. And again, it is the happiest card in tarot. So the sun card means everything is working in 
the beautiful energy of bringing you the exact right opportunity and allowing yourself to clear yourself in the past is going to help move you forward faster. So many blessings to you all for this fabulous Thursday's energy. What an amazing reading and a uh, constant uh, acknowledgement of the affirmations that come through. I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.